So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video we are going to talk about Power BI, but we're going to talk about how to get Power BI support, help, you know, individual support. There are a lot of resources out there for, you know, like blogs, videos like I do. There are tons of resources that you can use to get support, but sometimes you need on your specific scenario. So first of all, I just want to talk about that I'm receiving a lot of individual messages to me about getting individual support for free. And uh, I'm, I'm just not able to answer. It's, it's just, you, you are too many. And there is no way that I can do it. You know, I put a lot of time into the Power BI community. I do this YouTube, and then I do it on Curva.com with the DAX glossary and other resources, and other blog posts where I put conferences, speaking. I, I already put perhaps too much time into the Power BI community for free. So there is no way for me to give also individual support for free. Okay. So I love, I would love to be able to do it, but Kerbal is me. The company is, is just me. There's nobody else. So the time that I don't spend in the community, I have to spend it with my customers. Okay. To, just to be able to make a living like you guys do. So I hope that that makes sense. So how do you get help? If you're not getting help, individual help from me, how do you get it? And I always send you to the Power BI community because I think it is a fantastic resource for you guys to get individual help. And you have come back to me and told me, oh, I don't get the right result in the Power BI community, or I don't get an answer at all, or you know, it takes too long to get an answer. So what I want to do in this video is to tell you things that you can do so you get quick, fast, and good support, okay, on the Power BI community. So this is a blog post that was shared by Greg in 2016, I believe, in May 2016. Let me find it very quickly. So it is the most liked blog post on the community ever. So I am, so, you know, a lot of people think that this is things that you should definitely do to get support. So this is how the blog post is titled, in case you want to look it up. I will have a link down below, both for the community and this blog post. And it says, how to get your question answered quickly. So how do you do that? Number one, this is what he says. He says, post in the correct forum. So when you go into the community, you'll see that there is uh, different forums. You have uh, desktop, DAX, the service for developers. So make sure that you post your question in the right place because you know somebody that is very good in DAX will probably monitor and help you. So if you put it in the wrong place, maybe that person or the people that are looking into that, they don't know the answer. Another thing that he says is don't cross post. Don't make sure that you don't post the same thing everywhere because you are making things harder. You know, people are wasting resources and maybe I think two, three times, which is, you know, a waste. For, I, I want to pause this for a second because the people that are helping in the Power BI community are actually volunteering. You know, they are doing this, they have a day job and then they are doing this because number one, they love Power BI. Number two, they love to help and they would like to, you know, maybe they're also doing for their educational purposes to train on different scenarios. So whatever the reason is, they, they do have other jobs and they are doing this completely for free. Microsoft is not paying them anything. So, you know, it, it is important to know that it's not Microsoft people giving the, uh, the support. So he says, be nice. <laughs> Obviously, you know, even if you don't get the right answer, as I said before, you know, the people helping in the Power BI community, they are doing it for free and they are doing it with their best intentions and their best knowledge. So if you don't get the right result, maybe you need to rephrase your question. So maybe it's something you are misunderstanding each other. But either way, be nice. Don't start complaining about, you know, yeah. that person just because he's trying to help you for free, basically. Post sample data. This is so important, so important. And 
the best thing, I mean, if it's just one table that you want to share, make sure that people can copy paste from whatever you post or you post a link to your, you know, OneDrive or G Drive or whatever. So, you know, people can download the data because otherwise they will have to recreate it by hand. More often than not, the people that are going to help you will try to test the solution and they won't be able to tell them, you know, if you don't give them the data. And what are the chances that they will recreate what you posted there? Not that big, right? So make sure that you have always some sample data. And then if the, what you are trying to get help for is not just on one table, it's on multiple tables, make sure you post your model and your relationships. Make a sample file or where you, you know, crypted your data and post it there so people can just get it and give you the results. It will take for them five minutes, but if you don't give them that, it will take them like half an hour, one hour. And that's the difference between getting help or not. If you just give them everything, they will be able to help you very, very quickly. And then if you put the effort, they will put the effort for sure. So include the relationships, include your formula. So if you've already tried something, you can say, hey, I tried this, but it didn't work because then they can just modify it a little bit, you know? instead of doing everything from scratch. Include the expected results. This is so important. So you say, okay, this is what I want to calculate and it should give me this value, but it's giving me this value. Because there are a lot of, you know, one solution can have multiple answers <laughs> depending on what you are trying to do. And if it's not like very clear on the, with the wording, if you just give them the number, they will understand. So always include what the expected result is so they can verify their work and send it to you. And you don't have to go, oh no, that wasn't it. I should have 34. Okay, tell them from, from the beginning. Uh, now, if you find an issue, post it on issues. If you have an idea, post it on ideas. And issues is issues.powerbi.com. Ideas is ideas.powerbi.com. And his last tip is be concise. So, you don't need to write a long text to explain what you are trying to do. But I would say rather that than just a line. So rather over explain than under explain, because that's when, you know, the volunteers will feel that they don't have time to help you because they will have to recreate the data because they don't know how the model looks like. Yeah. So to summarize everything, sample data, always. Model, if possible. If you have different tables, you have, to, you have to give the model. You have to give sample data with the model, okay? Be nice. <laughs> the people are doing it for free, out of their own time and pocket. So please, please be nice. And uh, post in the right forum, basically. And you will get help, for sure. And is Power BI community the only place? No, there are other places. For example, if you ask about Facebook data, and there is a developers forum, but maybe Stack Overflow is a better place. You know, if you're talking about APIs, there are, those type of developers are there too, that they could help you. So depending on exactly what you need help, there are different forums that can help you. Start in Power BI and then they will in community.powerbi.com and then hopefully you get the solution there. Otherwise, they will tell you other places where you can find the best solution. So I hope these tips help you, you know, to just get help, get help quickly, get good quality help and Hopefully it will help also the volunteers and the Power BI community to get quality questions. And there are no bad questions, don't, don't believe that. But you know, if you don't give enough information, it will take too long to get it out. And probably you, know, you won't get the help that you need. So yeah, so this is all for today. I will see you again on the next video. Until then. Take care. Bye.